Yo YouTube, what's going on? And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a game capture. Today I'm just using a Roxio GameCap HD Pro. Um, you could use like any kind of capture card there is, uh, Gato, whatever. Uh, today I'm just showing you how to set it up with a console. I mean, currently my console's not in my room. I just have my computer, so we're going to play it out like I have a console. Uh, we're going to use my streaming PC as an example of a console. So, what we're, you're going to need is... Well, obviously, you're going to need this cord. It This side plugs into the game capture. There's a little slot here. So you just, hold on, let me plug it in. I don't really have anywhere to hold my camera, so you just kind of plug it in like that. And then there's a USB side on it that plugs in to your computer. This plugs into your computer, laptop, whatever. You hear like a little doo-doo-doo-doo whenever you plug it in and it'll show some sort of light or something as you know that wasn't going before. Sorry about my desk being a mess. I'm currently in the midst of upgrading my desk and my setup and my computer so it's all just kind of a mess right now. I'm gonna have a setup video coming up in the next few days but after that's plugged in um, you're gonna need two HDMI cords. One HDMI cord going from one side to your monitor, TV, whatever and then you're gonna need another one my bad uh, and it's gonna come out of this one and it's gonna go into the back of your Xbox so where you would plug your Xbox into your TV in that slot instead of un unplug that from your TV and plug it in the game capture this is the input so you wanna put it on the side that says video input you wanna put the Xbox port one into here and then on this side, it'll say video output and audio output. You want to put this one here to your TV or monitor. I mean, I know I'm kind of just trying to explain it because I don't have an Xbox on me right now. It's in a different room. So I can't really show it to you. But once you do, the, the everything will be coming through here. And what you'll need to do is go on your computer and download the software for it. So it'll be like the Elgato software or the Roxio Game Capture software. So I actually don't have it installed because I don't ever use my... Um... Actually, I do have it installed. Oh my... <laughs> Holy, dude, you learn something new every day. So here's my Roxio Game Capture. And hold on, let me actually get some HDMI... No, I don't have a graphics card in my this computer yet. So I can't can't do anything with that. Because it doesn't have any graphics card in it, so that's that thing's still a work in the progress. That's that's for another video. But once you have this side, the input coming in from your Xbox and output to your monitor, you have your Xbox screen. You're gonna need two monitors for this. Fair warning, okay? So you have your Xbox screen on one screen and your computer screen on the other screen. Now, the Roxio Game Capture thing isn't opening, but it's, that's whatever. So, what you're also going to need is OBS Studio. I'm actually going to switch over to the computer for this one. Um, the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory from the computer. And we'll go ahead and head straight over to the computer, boys! Alright, we're over on the computer, and as you can see... <coughs> sorry about that. I have OBS opened up. Uh, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to add a new scene. I already have a scene for streaming. So what you're going to do is you're going to have like this blank screen right here. I know you're just seeing a black screen. So what you're going to do is, I'm going to back to their scene. You're going to want to press this little plus in the bottom right. And then you want to press, I believe it's display capture or game capture. No, it'd be it, game capture. And then from there, you want to press capture specific window. And then choose the window as your... um. Roxio game capture or Elgato game capture thing and from there it will show up on your screen your Xbox gameplay Oh crap! So hold on. I'm going to add the my display capture so that way you guys can see what's going on here So hold on if I if my Roxio game capture would open that would be nice, but it doesn't look like it's one open. so uh, Yeah, we're good so you'll have this and you'll have your Xbox screen here where my uh, desktop is so from here you have your Xbox screen here you can add whatever you want on it you can add um, text on it if you want to add text 
um, Lululu. And then you can move the text around wherever you want it to be on the screen. As you can see right now, I'm recording, but once you have everything set up, you can press start recording and stop recording. And that'll obviously start recording and stop recording. And so now you can add, let's say you want to add a face cam. So you're gonna to need to have a face cam plugged into your computer. Um, it's pretty easy to do. It's very simple. You just plug the USB thing in, and then I already have the video capture device, but you want to add one. Hold on, let me actually delete this. Um, what you want to do is press video capture device, add a new one, and then you're gonna to want to choose your webcam. It should be the only one on there. And then from there, you can just press OK, and it'll show up. Since I already have a video capture one, uh, it's not going to show up. So I just want to add an existing one, since I already have one. So then there you go. You have your face cam. You can shrink it if you like. You can make it bigger. You can put it wherever you want it to go. It's fairly simple. Um, so now you have a face cam on your screen. and. Now you can start recording if you like, if you just want a face cam. But you can add more to it. You can add, uh, for example, you can add browser sources. So you can add something from your browser. Um, you can add audio input, audio output. And you can actually put images on here. So you could say, for example, you want to put some sort of image on your video or live stream, whatever you're using this for. So you just go and you find it. I can find mine. Okay, so here's mine. And then you can just put it on the screen if you'd like. And you can make it smaller, bigger, wherever you want to put it. You can put it wherever. I mean, it's really simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, now we're going to go into the settings part. So you want to open up your OBS settings. And general, you can just leave everything in here the same. And that doesn't really matter. Uh, stream, you can connect it to your YouTube mixer, Facebook, Restream, like literally anything. And you can just stream through that. It's a pretty simple process. That'll be a video for, or, yeah, that'll be a video for a different day. And then here's output. This is for streaming. Uh, don't worry about this. If you don't care about streaming, this is for recording. And then right here is recording. You can change your recording path. So you can change it to wherever you want it to save. Uh, I can't change it right now because I am recording, but you can change it to just like somewhere on your desktop, uh, somewhere in the file on your desktop, and you can save it anywhere on your computer. Just make sure you know where it is so that way you don't lose the file. And then recording quality, you can keep it the same as stream or you can change it. It's whatever you want to do. And then recording format, make it MP4 because anything else is not going to be able to really upload it to YouTube. And then audio, I don't mess with any of this. I kind of just leave this all the same. Then you have video. Uh, base canvas is going to be whatever your resolution is. Mine is 1920 by 1080. So it's going to be 1920 by 1080. You might have like 2140 by whatever, 1440. Uh, I don't know. All the, I don't know all the resolutions. <laughs> um, but then you can change your output one. So you can make it 1080p, same as my monitor. Or you can lower it down to 720p, 360p. And basically, what tells you the P is this last number here. So it would be like, I don't know the resolution, but it would be something by 720, something by 360, something by 180. And obviously, the lower it gets, the worse quality it's going to be. So I'm kind of just keeping it as 1080p. And then you can change the FPS. And yeah, and then you can put you can put hotkeys if you like. I don't have any hotkeys. So you can just like quickly stop streaming, start streaming with a, like control alt, like S or something. Like, like not a single key, obviously, because you don't want to constantly start streaming and stop streaming on accident um that's really all there is to that that's really a that's a you kind of a thing your personal preference um and this is advanced i don't mess with anything in here i just leave this all the same and other than that that's really all you need to get started with your youtube career streaming career whatever you're doing it's really simple and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and you guys on my next video Deuces.